Hi, welcome to On My Shelf. Today I'm talking about J.K. Rowling's new movie, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Several weeks ago, husband and I took our oldest three sons to see Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. We were afraid that the movie might be a little old for a couple of our sons, and it probably was, but we had a weekend without the younger ones and we wanted to take our oldest for his birthday so the other two had to come along for the ride. In spite of the arm going numb, because one of my sons was clutching it the whole time, this movie was incredibly well done, probably one of the best I've seen in a while. The screenplay was written by J.K. Rowling, and it was so clear to me that she has grown immensely as a writer in the years since the last Harry Potter book published. The characters were well-developed, the settings were fantastic, the backstories were very interesting. And the creatures, I could not take my eyes off the screen. They were so beautiful, fascinating, imaginative. This movie was brilliant in every way. The filming was beautiful, with striking contrasts between dark and light, and interesting camera shots that contributed to the mood of each scene, whether it was creepy horror or lighthearted humor. The premise of the movie was so engaging, too what with the American 1920s flapper era and the witch paranoia that made for a pretty grim time in history. Good job, Warner Brothers. I loved every part of this movie, and I sincerely hope there are more to come. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Visit racheltolson.com for more audiobook, film, and TV show recommendations. I'm Rachel Tolson, and this is On My Shelf.